Hardcore Iron Man, only playable in PvP worlds. The current bounty for killing this account is 250 mil. Although, that may be set to change in this episode as I increase the combat level and increase my means of survivability. Hope you guys enjoy this video, plenty of gains to be made. Why have I still got an adamant crossbow? Embarrassing. Normally people would go to the crazy archaeologist in the wilderness to upgrade to a rune crossbow. But I've got a different plan. We are going to God Wars Dungeon. I forgot my rope. Pretty scary place, but I doubt anyone will expect me to be here so early in my account. Maybe later on, we'll be back. The plan is to kill Avancees, which have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping the Runite limbs. I already have 65 fletching, so I can just boost up and make the crossbow. Yo, that's what I was hoping for as well. Hard clue scroll. Can we do it? Crandor Island. No, I can't. And there it is, rather painless actually, runite limbs. I could just tag the advances after the other NPCs had lowered their health a lot. Good old tasty spicy stew means that I'm boosted up to 69, fletching, and there we go. Rune crossbow upgrade that I can't even wear yet. Living in New Orleans, she came in from Texas. Every local show I put her name on the guest list, but I don't never see her. I came to expect this. She would rather chill at the crib watching Netflix. I'm not trying to sound pretentious, but most girls would say she sounds senseless. I guess because I'm driving a Lexus, you prefer the guy who would buy you a necklace. 736 total level hardcore Iron Man. Not too bad, you know. 61 range in search of some grubby keys. Now I can wear the rune crossbow, of course, and hoping to get some brews this episode. Might take a trip over to the Temple Spiders. Got some plans over there. It's gonna be a bit risky though. I'm still in fourth last dungeon because I need some grubby keys to open the grubby chest to get my grubby little fingers on some not so grubby sourdome and brews, which are the best food possible for my survival. Two keys, any brews? No brews. Two more keys, no more brews. All right, so the master plan is to go to temple spiders and burst them for really fast grubby keys I'm desperate to get some brews, and that's going to be the fastest keys per hour. Spent a lot of money on these burst runes. On to the ancient spellbook for burst, but it's not going to be ice burst. It's going to be smoke burst, as I'm only 61 mage right now. I doubt this is going to be efficient, but it's going to be fun. What is my inventory right now? <laughs> I have 10 food on me. So yeah, I'm relying on getting the teleport off fast, because I've got 10 food on me. I need mind bombs to boost my mage up for smoke burst, and yeah... Bit risky, but if I get some brews from this, I am laughing. Here we are, the temple spiders. I believe I can stack over nine at a time, so it's a decent burst spot. Maybe not as good as the monkey madness areas, but we get the grubby keys and the hard clue scrolls from these. How the hell do I stack these up? I'm going to have to do some experimentation there. Fuck it, that'll do. 200 experience mage drops, and that's not the only thing. The hit points experience from here is the best hit points experience you can get. Better than conventional mage training methods, as you get half the hit points compared to your mage XP, which is very, very good returns. Been bursting away at the spiders. I got another hard clue here, which is really nice to get dehyde, and got another grubby key. I think I've got five overall, and we're getting decent drops back off the spiders. Chance for completion. Oh, I did it. First hard clue scroll on the account. Please dehyde. Black dehyde is what we're after. That is very good. Very good first one. Black dehyde top and the magic short bow, which I can use with Adi arrows. That'll be really nice. Oh, I'm happy about that one. I'm very happy. Black dehyde top as well. Just need the chaps now and I'm pretty set for getting defense up. That is the end of the first batch of bursting runes. Really enjoyed that actually. Quick keys and quick XP is so fun to get, even if it's costly. 63 mage, 51 combat, and got some hit points experience as well. This is my loot from 800 smoke bursts. We've got the magic short bow, the black dead body, a bunch of herbs, the keys, all these alcaballs. So I made money back from the burst runes. They cost around 600 to 700k. And we've got about 200k back there in Alks and stuff, plus the keys. Now that I've trained my magic up, I want to train my range to the same level so I can maximize my hit points. Oh my god, there's a guy. He can't attack me though. Level 79. He scared me though, man. And that is the last inventory, conveniently, for 49 prayer, which means and I'll get redemption. That might save me. I don't trust you, so I'm teleporting out.
DIP, I think I can actually do that one in the abyss. Abyss mini quest done for 24 runecrafting. Probably never gonna train runecrafting there as you have to run through Edgeville. Pretty scary place. A lot of people don't actually know, but you can go from the abyss into the sire area. There's a little entrance, which means that I'm able to complete this step of my hard clue scroll. It was worth it, I got a casket. It's actually quite unlikely that I can finish a hard clue at one defense. Come on then, the dream would be black dehyde or god dehyde chaps in my second clue. Come on. Oh, I got some sort of chaps. Blue dehyde chaps tea, I mean. I guess it's kind of an upgrade. <laughs> At least we have a little bit more fashion points on the account with my tea chaps. Ooh. Oh my god, I did not expect someone to find me there. It's, it's like 6 a.m. right now, so. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I was pretty safe there, though. I can get to the gate really easily. The reason I got the herb sack, I would be leaving all of these things on the floor to maximize my food, but. I'm just gonna get herb lore experience for days with everything I do. The fourth boss dungeon grinding has paid off. 18 grubby keys. A brew drop of 1.5 brews is 1 in 10. Come on. If I don't get at least two brews from all these keys, plus, because I've already opened like 14, I'm going to be mad, dude. Come on, man. It's time. Yes, there we go. First brew drop on the account. 1.5 brews. I deserve two by now because it's one in 10 and I've done about 20 chests, but I'm not going to complain. Brews do exist. Yes, second brewery drop. Three brews, that is big. Give me every single one of these. I'm gonna cherish these brew sips. Finish the rest of the keys, we've done 29 keys now. I deserve 4.5 brews really, but three is absolutely fine for now. Brews are really great. Obviously you can store a lot of hit points in one inventory slot, but at my hit points level, they don't heal too much yet. They're going to be more important in the future of the account when I'm tanking full TVs and stuff. That being said, I always had in the back of my mind that I would up the bounty once I achieved really good unlocks for my survival. And brews definitely are that. So for every 1,000 likes we got on this video, I'll add 20 mil to the bounty. I'm not even looking for hardcores right now. This guy is just, he's too free, man. He's doing agility. He's level 20 and I can just debo him. Oh, he's got 70 agility, but he's 26 hit points, level 20. It's just natural selection at this point. I can't even help it. Perfect. After getting TB there, my temple spider days are definitely over. We're going to go for some undead druids to grab some grubby keys and hard clue scrolls, hoping to get those black dehyde chaps or a god coif or any cool clue uniques. Obviously, the keys come in a bit more slowly off the druids, but I think it's worth it for the herb lore XP and for the hard clues. And for the bruise, apparently. <laughs> Holy sh... He's got nothing on. That was such a slow teleport, though. <laughs> I'm going to get TP'd so easily. Hard clue from the undead druids. Let's go. And that's a drop. Just kidding. We are actually doing it. I don't value my life too much, it seems. I feel like it's pretty safe on the west side of the world here. Yo, I got a looting bag off the Zami wizard. That's pretty cool. Run into a minor inconvenience here. Piscator's fishing colony bank means that i have to do swan song quest which has high requirements yeah i i'm not about that life i'd rather just get another clue another clue another drop another clue another drop another clue oh i can actually do this one yeah just joking we dropped it big level coming in here 70 range unfortunately i haven't managed to get black dehyde chaps yet we're still rocking the blues but when i get defense i can wear the black dehyde top which is nice <laughs> Like 
No way, that's step six. Are you serious? I'm in love glory. That is a definite drop. How is this so difficult, man? The pickaxes. I just tabbed out from the haunted mind quest. What am I doing, man? You know, the worst thing is, I've pretty much got to do the entire quest again. Ivan's blast actually worked. Who would have known you should trust the guide? The Haunted Mind quest has been completed. 22,000 strength XP, not too bad. And you can probably tell why I did it. The Salve Amulet. Yep, I was killing undead druids without it. So you can't actually enter the Nightmare Zone on a PvP world, which is unfortunate, considering it is, it's an entirely safe area. It's an instance, which is why I'm going to hop into a normal world and jump into the Nightmare Zone. I'm going to run to the Vile on a PvP world and back from the Vile on a PvP world, so... It's essentially as if it was active in a PvP world. And there is the Salve Amulet imbued. I will only use Nightmare Zone when I need to imbue something. I was wondering when this bad boy was going to come out. This is my best in slot fashion scape. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is my face before and after you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe. Another clue, another... Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking about getting defense. I really am. AGS, I'm pretty sure that's just a fairy ring location. It is. It is, it is. I might, it might be time to get the fence. I'm just asleep on it. I just don't want to leave the pure behind, man, but I don't know. We will see next week. While I deliberate my decision, we have another key. Oh my god, I got more bruise. That is sick. I have six now. Tell you like it is with the kiss. Baby, when it drips from your lips. Tell you like it is, it's like this. Don't be such a slave to your brother